Hey, what's up? It's Chanel, and welcome back to Snack Time with Chanel. I know it's been a long time since we last spoke. If that's the only time that you watch my um, YouTube channel was when I had only snack time, then you've been around for some fucking rough days, and uh, that's cool that people still bring this up and they want it so I decided finally you know what I'm really fucking hungry we're gonna fucking get some Nomad pizza just like the old days and we're gonna eat like fucking a savage like I lost about 40 pounds since the last episode which is pretty fucking crazy like, the last official episode, not counting Instagram stuff, but, like, when I was drinking all the time and being a fucking idiot, yeah. Like, that's not me, I'm not that type of person, and it pisses me off that you guys, you know, you got to know the worst side of me, and... I just want you guys to know that I just appreciate the fucking support and everything. If you're new to the channel, if you're old to the channel, if you don't even like me talking about music and this is the only reason you subscribe, then hey, you're going to have yourself a good Sunday night. We have Game of Thrones and you have a new episode of Snack Time with Chanel, so... We're gonna go to Milmont Pizza and try out their fucking chicken parmesan. So, I'll catch you guys on the other side of fucking hell. That is Milmont Park. But Milmont Pizza is delicious. I should have just rode my bike up here, but I don't want my pasta getting fucked up. So, we're gonna drive it's just right around the corner. And this was actually my second job ever. My first job was at Relapse Records. And I busted my ankle and could not work in the warehouse anymore. So I pretty much had to quit my dream job after like a fucking week. I was like 19, was at Tri-State Mall trying this gap and just, it did not work out. It shot me completely sideways and I put my foot down in the street and got fucked up. But, this is Milmont Pizza. Milmont Castle, pretty much. This place is awesome. I'm really proud of the owners, Joe and Irene. They worked their asses off to get this place the way it is right now. Like, when I worked here, it was back in 2005. So, now seeing it grow it's cool because it is like a family atmosphere when you work here what's going on but there's a number here we go Hell yeah. Alright, so let's check out this chicken parm. They always have some banging garlic bread. Hell yeah, look at that. That's fire. We have some Father Be Fouled on Dark Descent Records playing. And we're gonna fucking desecrate this chicken parmesan. That looks delicious. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Look at that. It's like fucking heavy as shit. Can't wait to get into this. It's gonna be awesome. 
You need a Dr. Pepper if you're gonna have a meal like this. It's the only way to go. I love doing this too. Just break off a piece of garlic bread. I told them light sauce too, so get a little bit of sauce. And then you'd be a savage and eat this real quick. Seriously delicious. I haven't had chicken parm since Italian Village closed down. And this is just like picking up where they left off pretty much. Like, it's amazing. It's like that, that fucking hit the spot. Just that little bite right there. Like just was awesome. I can't wait to get into this meal. I'm gonna have to recommend Noman Pizza's Chicken Parmesan. That's like a fucking 9 out of 10. It's a little garlicky, but that's good. I like garlic, so that's good for your heart. Kills vampires. You know how it works. But, anyways. Six one zero five four 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 six five. If you live in the Ridley area, call. Get yourself your own fucking chicken parmesan. Cause I'm not sharing this shit. <laughs> so good. Thank you, Joe and Irene, and thank you guys for watching this new episode of Snack Time with Chanel. Hail. Oh, wait. I hear you're putting on some kind of concert. That's good. People need to be entertained. They need the distraction. I wish to God that somebody would do something to block out the voices in my head for five minutes. Voices that scream over and over. Why do they come to me to die? Why do they come to me to die? Okay. Is he crazy? No, just ignorant. You see, your crazy friend never heard of the food chain. Just ask this scientician. Uh, he'll tell you that in nature, one creature invariably eats another to survive. <laughs> Don't kid yourself, Jimmy. If a cow ever got the chance, he'd eat you and everyone you care about. McClure, I was a great A moron to ever question eating meat. <laughs> yes, you were, Jimmy. Yes, you 